Hi guys, I'm pretty excited that I just worked out how to do this. <clears throat> so I've got some fleece here that's pretty dismal. It's full of vegetation. I'm not sure whether you can tell. But the thought of processing it has just been like stressing me out and I haven't wanted to do it. So I came across this way of doing it and it is super easy. So I've got these two carters. I just load it up like I would as if I was going to cart it, which I'm probably not very good at anyway. And then I just take my other one and I just try and keep the fiber in the tips. So I'm really only rubbing, you can see there where the fiber is, that's the only bit that I'm rubbing along here. And I am using quite a bit of pressure. So then all I'm going to do is pull this bit out and I find if you grab right at the end of the tips it's heaps easier to pull out. You can see there's nothing, no vegetation in there at all. I do the same on this one periodically. And then if I pull this up, I've been doing a bit. I'll recard this bit as well a little bit. But I don't know whether you can see there very easily. But there is just heaps of crap in there. I can certainly feel it. It feels horrible. Load it up. It might seem a bit tedious, but it can get really fast once you get going. You put quite a bit on there. I don't normally clean the comb carters every time. I just wanted to show you the amount of stuff that was in there. And this is just alpaca, which is, I guess, the biggest culprit for vegetation at times. So here's a little container full that I've done before. So then all I do after I've done that is I've got this little coin here. Funny, just let me put my blind down. Okay, I've got another big window up there which doesn't help. Just one tiny little bit of dirt. So I just get my coin, grab a little bit of this. I'm just going to pull it out of the basket at the moment. Yeah, I've only just started doing this, so I'm not very good at it. And this stuff is quite a bit finer than the other stuff that I've done. So I'm just pulling it back gently. I guess using this hand is the resistance like you kind of see with the comb when people dizz off a comb.
don't know how this part of this is. Try not to pull too hard with this hand. Because that's when you get it, big gaps in it and it breaks it. There we go. I don't know how good this will be for spinning but I can see that it's going to be just perfect for felting which is what I mainly use it for because it's super easy just to pull the bits off so yay I am so excited I can actually get to use they're like eight or nine bags of alpaca fiber that I've got sitting around. Yay! Thanks very much.